welcome to the MVP show. Today we have Stefano. He's a CTO uh, based in Italy and is an absolute guru when it comes to NAV and Business Central. He has a master degree in computer engineering, and one of the things I really liked in the story is the number of books he's written and what he enjoys uh, about writing. So let's hear from this MVP all the way from Italy and his journey to becoming an MVP uh, and and what his world looks like now uh, post-COVID, or if we are really post-COVID yet. Anyhow, full show notes can be found at nz365guy.com forward slash two one one now let's get on with the show stefano welcome to the mvp show thank you very much for this invitation mark happy to be here with you it's good it's good to have you on the show now before we get started um tell us a bit about yourself uh i'm stefano de migliani i'm an mvp on business applications I live uh, in the north of Italy, in a small city called Borgo Manero. Borgo Manero is, is between the Orta and Maggiore Lakes in the north of Italy. And uh, it's uh, a place, uh, I love this place because, uh, because uh, it's quite near to the biggest city like Milan. So uh, near the metropolis, near Microsoft and so on, 40 minutes by car. And, uh, but here yeah, it's, uh, it's quite like a, a green island because there we have, there are lots of nature, two wonderful lakes in the middle of the mountains. So many splendid places to go for walks or, uh, sport activities. So it's, uh, it's a, a quite nice place. Not in the middle of the center of the, the, of the big towns, but, uh, near them. But, uh, yeah, here we have lots of nature. So it's, uh, it's a uh, it's a great place. I I know what you mean. Lake Como is a, one of my f- most favorite places in the world. We are we are quite near Como. It uh, Como is uh, half an hour from here. So it's uh, if you know Como is uh, yeah it's quite uh, the same uh, the same place. Uh, it, 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 this area is very famous for uh, lovers of lake tourism, and especially in spring and summer, it's very popular with tourists from many parts of Europe. Uh, who come to visit the the beauty of the two lakes, uh, like the Icelands of San Giulio, Orta, the Borromean Islands, and so on. Mm, it, it it is amazing. I've been there twice. I loved it so much. I had to go back again. Yes, you have to go back, and uh, if you go back, uh, feel free to send me a message. Maybe we can. Uh, it sounds sounds very good. So so tell me what um what do you do when you're not working? What do you get up to? Uh, my 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 typical day is uh, divided between uh, work and sports. Normally, uh, normally I my my day starts at uh, half past seven, a quick breakfast. Uh, at eight, I'm in the office. So when I'm in the office, I'm. Uh, I'm the uh, chief, technical, chief technical officer of uh, a group called uh, NavLab in Italy. We work, uh, we work in the, mainly, uh, we cover developing application for, uh, with the Microsoft uh, ecosystems. Uh, I'm uh, responsible for managing the development team. So I'm, uh, I'm uh, responsible to manage uh, Dynamics 365 applications and uh, Azure Cloud applications. This is my two areas. That I manage, and uh, so my day my day day at office is divided between meetings, planning, uh, and and also development because I develop, and uh, I do also some uh, customer assistance uh, normally in the second level assistance. So uh, when there's a bugs or something like that, must should be fixed. Uh, normally, if if there are no problems, my working days uh, ends at uh, six in the evening, six p.m. And when I get home, uh, I uh, I dedicate every day to myself an hour on sports. So no, normally I I'm a runner, and uh, I'm a cyclist, and I I divide my hour and day in and day in uh, the evening uh, on running and uh, on cycling when I when I can. Obviously, work uh, is uh, work uh, working. The working hour are, are a lot and. Uh, 
it's not always easy to find uh, times to for sports and for uh, for personal activity but but normally i i try to do that every day it's my my mantra <laughs> <laughs> i love it so what area of dynamics 365 do you work in uh, i work uh, with dynamics 365 uh, in uh, mainly in the, the the ERP sector so uh, dynamics 365 business central now and uh, my regular work is not only entirely focused on the ERP, uh, but I'm also responsible to manage all other types of applications and development. Uh, and personally, personally, I work uh, a lot on uh, Azure, a lot on architecting and developing uh, distributed uh, applications with .NET, Azure, and other uh, other cloud technologies. Uh, obviously, the business center is my main. Uh, my main uh, part of the work today, and uh, I started. I started uh, with the NIV in uh, 2003, so more than uh, 15 years ago, and uh, I followed all, all the release of the products. And uh, business center today is our main uh, main business, and uh, I develop solution for business central, SaaS, on premise, and uh, also all the all other. Uh, all many other types of applications that are uh, comes around the ERP. So I, I'm uh, I'm dividing these two in these two worlds today, and I, I'm uh, responsible to manage the our internal development team. So well, we are we are a group of uh, that counts today about uh, 500 people, and uh, we have. Uh, we have an internal development team that works uh, on developing products uh, for for our set, and uh, I manage this team. And uh, actually, we are we deploy application, we, we create application verticals, and so on. So, what was your journey to becoming an MVP? Uh, I've uh, to admit that uh, in the past, I never think of be on being an MVP. Uh, many, many, I, I have lots of friends that have uh, asked me this, but I not, may never think on this. And uh, a day, so some some years ago, uh, I've all, I always, I always had a blog, a technical blog. I also, I always, uh, uh, I have written some books for Microsoft in the past, uh, but without without thinking to be an MVP. And uh, a day, some days ago, some uh, years ago, I received a mail from Microsoft saying that uh, someone in terms of Microsoft nominated me to be an MVP. And uh, I accepted these nominations. And uh, after some months, I don't remember how many months, but after some months, uh, I was awarded uh, an MVP on business applications. And I, I admit that... Uh, if uh, I, I can go forward in the past, I, I, I would try to I, 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 I would try to become an MVP more uh, sooner than this because uh, uh, I think that uh, this is a title that uh, if you love to share knowledge, if you love to work with the communities uh, and something like that is uh, is uh, is something that should be maintained. So five books, is that right? You've been involved in five books. Yes, I've uh, I've written uh, I think more than five books today, but uh, my my books, the totally written by me, are uh, actually five books, and uh, I, I'm currently working on a new book, but I I cannot actually share more details on that. But uh, I've I've written lots of books in the past uh, for uh, Microsoft. Uh, all, all 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 books have have uh, on Microsoft technologies. So Dynamics 365 is Business Central, uh, Dynamics Nav before Business Central, and uh, Azure. And uh, these books, uh, some of these books were was shared by Microsoft for free to to partners. Uh, some other books are uh, published by third-party publishers. So, for example, Pact Publishings. And uh, these books are uh, actually are all, 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 all these books are sold goods. Uh, for, for Business Central, uh, uh, we have developed, we have created uh, two books, two interesting books. 
uh, for uh, helping uh, on, or helping partners on uh, start developing solution for Business Central because uh, Business Central has changed uh, his uh, platform uh, three years ago and uh, totally changed. So for partners, uh, it was uh, it, it was uh, a big step because all 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 was changed. The code base was changed. The way of programming was changed, and uh, we saw on the, we were working on the field. We saw that uh, partners had problems on starting. So uh, some two years ago, together with uh, Microsoft Internals uh, friends, we have decided to help partners because uh, Microsoft was not ready at that moment to to have uh, documentations uh, public uh, publicly available on uh, on docs or something like that. And we decided to start writing, uh, writing a, a development guide for Business Central. And uh, this guide was, uh, was a great success uh, because uh, it sold a lot and uh, because there's no documentation. And uh, this year we have developed, uh, we have released also the more advanced guide, guide uh, a book uh, with the uh, 800 pages and uh, this was the advanced uh, version of this guide uh, and uh, I think that uh, this is actually the most completed guide uh, for uh, who want to start developing solution for uh, for Business Central because it covers from the beginning to the most advanced topics and uh, yes I, I, I love uh, I love writing books uh, it's amazing how, how, how much you've written I, I can't get over it how do you find time yeah, time is not is not easy. It's not easy to find. I've uh, I've to admit that uh, uh, to find time on writing a book, uh, uh, I have to work a lot, maybe in the evening, uh, because it's not easy to to write a book. Writing a book is uh, is a huge step because uh, you need to put uh, ideas on the paper. You need to review a lot. Uh, what what we have written? Uh, there are external reviewers that checks your what your your code your uh, uh, your 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 what you have written. Uh, you you had to change something and so on. So it's not easy to to write a book. But uh, when when you when you finish and when you release a book, it's uh, it's quite a satisfaction. <laughs> yeah, I bet. But I mean, the amount you've done is just absolutely phenomenal. Does it does it um, does it make you any money or much money for the the time and effort you put in? Uh, I have to admit that uh, technical books, in my opinions, uh, are not. Uh, you you don't write a technical books for money because uh, uh, okay, you re you receive a, a you, re you you have an agreement with your publisher, so you have. Uh, you have some money for writing a books, but uh, this money cannot cover absolutely the time uh, you spend on writing a book. And uh, a technical book, uh, uh, okay, it, it can s sell a lot, uh, but it's not like writing uh, a romance or something like that that can sell millions of copies. Uh, a technical books normally. If you say if you sell a thousand uh, cop or copies, you have uh, you have written a good books. So you you uh, it's uh, you cannot be a, become a millionaire <laughs> of writing technical books. I think you you this is this is passion. I think more more passion than uh, than uh, the money. And this is why this is why also we have released many books for free. We have uh, shared many books for free uh, with Microsoft, and uh... it's good. And w d tell me, how has the MVP? How has becoming an MVP affected your career, or hasn't it? Uh, becoming an MVP, uh, I think that uh, that uh, 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 has two great values: uh, being in close contact with Microsoft. And uh, and therefore being able to contribute uh, to the growth of the products and technologies you love, and uh, and being recognized uh, as, as a leader in a community of people, 
and therefore being able to contribute to growing skills uh, and helping people solving problems. So uh, I think that uh, uh, be, 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 being an MVP uh, has helped me to has helped me to be more in working contact with Microsoft, with the product team. In, in, it has allowed me to travel more than before and to know many people, many new people uh, at conferences or something like that. And uh, obviously, uh, I have to admit that uh, being being a real MVP is not uh, easy because uh, I, I personally think that this thing involves large part of my free time today. And uh, I say I said that through MVP because uh, I think that a, a true MVP is uh, someone that is uh, devoted to the community. And uh, I, I can say that there are some MVPs that uh, uh, uses this title for business and not for the benefits of the community. And uh, uh, if you are a true MVP, uh, you are the activities in which you are involved are several. In my case, mainly, mainly divided into providing training for Microsoft, writing books, uh, attending meetings and conferences, providing training at no cost, and uh, managing my personal website, where, where, where I love to to share uh, knowledge. And, and uh, so uh, it's, uh, there are lots of, uh, lots of activities to be an MVP. And uh, I think that uh, the main uh, changement for this title is uh, to be more in working in contact with Microsoft and with the product team. So, so you do a lot of public speaking as part as part of being an MVP and your and your career. How how do you prepare um, for the sessions you're going to deliver um, uh, at events? Uh, normally, uh, when I have an events, uh, I I spent uh, a lot of time before these events to put, uh, uh, I normally create a, a personal internal agenda of what we, of what is uh, uh, the content that, that we like to show. I normally use uh, tools like uh, Microsoft to do's or something like that to, to have uh, some bullet points of what are the topics that I want to cover in the sessions or in the speaking. And uh, then I, I start exploding these topics into more details, and uh, spe speaking. Spe my speaking normally, I uh, I I love to use uh, slides, but uh, I tend to to not use too much slide. So I prefer uh, speaking uh, that uh, have a mix, a good mix of slides and demos. And uh, normally, what I what I would like to uh, I try to to achieve when I create a presentation is uh, uh, to be more clear as possible. So uh, to try to target also people that can be at your session and maybe uh, they cannot be expert on this. So uh, normally, it's, uh, uh, I think that it's important to have a good balance between. Uh, concepts that you are sharing and uh, the level of uh, the audience. So uh, it's uh, normal, normally this is my personal steps for creating a session. How are you finding things, you know, with COVID-19 and the world changing so much? How has that affected what you do day to day or, um, uh, yeah, your life in general? Uh, this. Uh, this was, uh, I think that this was a revolution because uh, uh, in our, uh, for example, in our situations, in our company, we, our company has, uh, I think it's, it's an error, but our company has never uh, trust too much on uh, smart working. And uh, our uh, management team uh, is, uh, I think it's quite old style and they want that all, uh, all uh, people are in the office. And uh, this was the first revolution that we have because uh, uh, we have started to, to embrace on working. And I hope that uh, uh, our management team has uh, now understand that uh, the smart working today is possible and uh, uses smart working is something that uh, 
I think all companies today should start uh, embracing because uh, it's a revolution, uh, but it, it can uh, it can help you on, on working better, or save the environment too, because uh, less traffic uh, in the cities, less movements and so on. And uh, obviously, we have we had also an evolution at work because uh, all all uh, in these two months here in Italy is uh, managed by remoting uh, by, by home and also also customer assistance in managed by home. And we have we had also a revolution in uh, in the speaking because uh, in uh, this from February to uh, September. We had a lot of uh, events planned for Microsoft because uh, actually I'm managing uh, some training activities for uh, for Microsoft Italy and Microsoft uh, Europe, and uh, we we have totally changed. This 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 was planned as a live event around Europe, uh, so two days live event around Europe for training about Business Central, and uh, we have totally. Redone this, change this to online events, and uh, with, with difficulties uh, that comes because uh, uh, if you have planned a two-day event live, transform these events in a, in, into a one-day online event is not easy, and uh, so we have to we have to review all the contents, review all the work, transform all the contents. Uh, in a way that it will be possible to to share it online, reschedule all the events together with Microsoft, and uh, this was a great uh, a great changement too. And uh, we are hoping to be out of this situation soon. Uh, uh, at least here in Italy, I think that in these days is the situation is much better, and uh, we hope to be out soon. But obviously. Uh, uh, this situation has, has changed the way of work, the way of life, and uh, I hope that uh, the entire world uh, will be affected by this this changement. Yeah, yeah, I I, I definitely uh, agree with you that I think uh, the the impact will be for many years to come, particularly in how we work. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, well, well. Our time's up, but uh, I always like to end these sessions with some quick fire questions, um, which are just very random questions. Are you ready? I think so. Here's question number one: If you could arm wrestle an historic figure, who would you choose? A, a star. It could be anybody, and uh, they, but uh, they need to need to be historical, so they no longer alive. If you could arm wrestle. Somebody that was no longer alive, who would you choose? Uh, I think uh, a star that is no longer alive. Uh, I think uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> What's something that you are self-conscious about? I, I've done a lot of uh, I've done a lot of uh, uh, errors in the past uh, at work by by doing. Uh, some uh, listening on some uh, uh, people that uh, have uh, asked me to work in some sectors that are uh, uh, I, I I discovered after uh, some months that are not for me and uh, if I, I if I could uh, rewind the the time I uh, will never trust that people and I will go directly to my my passions. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. What's the best advice you've ever received? The best advice I've ever received is uh, listen to to your dreams and uh, go straight to your road. And if you f follow on you, this was uh, an advice that I've received from uh, an old uh, old uh, teacher in the past. And uh, I, I, I remember that uh, I, I, vol I, vol I was always passionate about uh, IT and uh, computer in general. And uh, uh, when, uh, when the other teachers said to me that, uh, no, this is not the way for you, you should go for medicine, for other topics <laughs> like that, uh, 
this this teacher uh, uh, said me no if you if you want to, uh, if this is your dream if you want to go if you, this is your passion follow your passion i've uh, listened him and i think it was uh, a great uh, advice so i think i know the answer but who is someone you really admire uh, i admire a lot of people <laughs> but uh, uh, technically speaking, uh, I admire uh, uh, what, what people that I admire today is uh, the big box of Microsoft, Satya, because uh, I think it's uh, it's he has changed the uh, the company, and I think it's the people that uh, we can trust, and uh, this is uh, people that uh, can uh, learn. Uh, we we can learn a lot from his spirit. And uh, from his passion for the for the company. So good, Stefano. It's been great to have you on the show. Before you go, where can people follow you on social media? Uh, the best way to get in touch with me is uh, via my social media. So via link Twitter or LinkedIn, uh, you can write me directly. I normally re- reply almost immediately or uh, or quite immediately. Uh, you can also contact me through my website. Uh, I'm always available to help. There are a lot of people that ask me questions on, uh, on via, via social and uh, feel free to do that. Hey, thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The MVP Show. I'm your host, Business Applications MVP, otherwise known as NZ365 Guy, but I'm also known as Mark Smith. Anyhow, just a little bit of a mind freeze there. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, Please feel free to get in touch. Uh, If anything kind of um, sparks a conversation in your mind, reach out to me on LinkedIn is the best way to get hold of me. Full show notes for this episode can be found at nz365guy.com forward slash 211. See you next time.